that's okay if you believe that the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar is measured by the CPI. But the CPI is, I think, the CP lie. It's not an accurate index to the cost of living. Among other things, it doesn't include tax. Steve, I'm pretty sure you pay tax, right? So the, the index doesn't matter to you. When I look at the basket of goods and services that I consume personally, yeah. it would appear to me that the value of my income and my savings is declining by about 8% a year. So if we're concerned about the maintenance of our purchasing power, we're getting paid four and a half in a currency that's declining by eight. <laughs> it means that we're losing three and a half percent a year. You do that for 10 years, you're off by 40%, 3.5% compounded for 10 years. What could make you more concerned about the maintenance of your purchasing power than a guarantee that you're going to lose it? 